All right, we're back in the car. We're gonna do a little test here. Um, 40 Hertz, zero dB test tone being played. I've got my RCA run. It goes into here. We've got a bunch of extra slack so I can do it from outside the car if I want. I'm gonna play with my output voltage here and we'll be able to watch. Uh, we'll check first the voltage, make sure it's clean output. Um, I have a splitter, so it's going to the amp as well as to the meter. And then we'll, once we know it's clean output, we'll switch it to the other meter and then put the speaker wires on the oscilloscope and look at what happens as we uh, adjust our speaker input. So I'm going to throw my phone on the tripod and we're going to start playing around with this. All right, we're on the tripod. Uh, we're going to hit play on our test tone and turn this up. That's, there we go. All right, so we're seeing 4.92. Check the waveform. Looks pretty clean. Let's see if we can. There we go. Nice clean waveform. You can turn it down, make it smaller. Turn it back up, perfectly clean, no issues. So we know 4.92, might be a little higher than that when the splitter's out, but we know that it's clean, 4.9, say just 4.9. I know right from the source it's 5.1, but after multiple runs of RCAs back and forth because of the base knobs, um, it loses a little bit, but that's okay. So we're gonna switch multimeters, put the speakers on the oscilloscope so we can see what it's doing, and then we'll play with input voltage and look at what this does at different input input voltage levels because I was having issues the other day. All right, we've got our speaker wires on here. We're gonna turn down looks a little more normal there yeah right around the 80 volt range on this thing is where it starts to level out let me zoom this in so we can see our getting fuzzy that's because of the gains though let me turn down the gains and watch right there as it slowly goes up it'll start getting fuzzy but that's on the clip so that's clipping a little bit of fuzziness on the top as you go more there you see it goes flat that's a hard clip. And as we go a little bit higher, it starts getting that weird sawtooth pattern. So let's turn our gain down. And without the clipping there, let's see, uh, let's see what this looks like. Let's do it this way. Slowly turn up the gain. So there's no clipping. There's clipping. So just a little bit back, but you can see. Let's leave it right there. So that's not clipping. So you can see right at the right angle. There we go. Let's do that. So now you can see as I slowly turn this down. This is not clipping, this is just 
high input voltage. It's still a little off. Yeah, right around that 2.5 mark. Maybe even lower. I'm just looking at the waveform at where it gets clean because it gets that little little notch right in there gets that notch going right around I think it's around 2.5 is where it starts to go away you can still see it a little bit until we're down around 2.5 and then it's nice and clean. So that's purely off the input voltage. So we already looked at the input voltage on this thing. So that's zero dB, 40 hertz. At 2.5 volt input, we're clean. Anything above that, we start getting that sawtooth pattern. Um, and this is not clipping, because I've got the gain turned down. We know our input is clean. And so this is purely off of um, this amp cannot handle above 2.5 volts of input voltage, um, it would seem. And we're sitting right at 14.8 volts, perfect voltage. My seat's covering it, but I got dual zero gauge inputs on this amp. Um, plenty of current, plenty of voltage. Um, so this is just coming down to... Uh, It's not liking this signal. So we're gonna set our head unit, you know, right to two volts. We're gonna leave it right there. And now we're not gonna touch that. <coughs> and now off of two volts. tone back a little bit. Off of two volts, we'll set our gain. A little bit of clipping. There's no clipping. So, nice clean wave looking at right around 90 volts AC of clean output at 0 dB. I'm going to load up a 10, a minus 10 dB test tone, reset the gains, because um, that's a lot of my music is there and want to use the full potential of this amp and not have to mess with any of the gains again now that we know where we're at. But uh, just want to give this quick overview of the issue I was having with the input voltage. Um, Hopefully this explains what I'm trying to put into words. You can just see it for yourself and uh, hope this helps. Well, we are back inside um, and uh, I just want to make that quick video showing the issue I was having, but hopefully I also explained uh, the gains and the clipping and it kind of helps visualize what that actually means on the oscilloscope. Um, so I think I have everything, have everything dialed in for my system now. Uh, I'm just going to have to be careful with that base knob because, um, those subs are only rated for a thousand watts a piece and this is a 5k at one ohm and it's turned up to just below clipping. So, um, all music is different. So that's something to be mindful of, but, uh, should be good. I for the most part know what I'm doing, so I wouldn't always recommend doing this for someone that is still learning. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps somebody, and uh, as always, have a good day.